Today we're going to pick some flowers and I'm going to share my testimony as a wife. Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. Today this video is going to be sort of a continuation of my testimony. A few weeks back I did a testimony video about how I came to the Lord and today I'm just going to share uh, more specifics about my journey as a wife. Um, but before I jump into that content, I just wanted to give you an update on our music project. If you're following along on this journey, we've been recording um, a new album. The next step is going to be um, the mastering and then duplication of the CDs. So we hope to have a free download available for you in July and also have the CDs available for purchase toward the end of the month as well. So as we've been working on this recording project together, I've had time to reflect on um, just my role as a wife and this opportunity that Bracken and I have had to work together on this recording has been a real blessing. Working together has not always been easy for us and I've certainly had to grow a lot in my own personal walk with the Lord in order to be able to support my husband and just be his helpmeet in certain areas of our life. So let's take a walk and I'm going to pick some flowers and discuss a little bit more about that. So early on in our marriage I would say was definitely the most difficult time for me, just a new wife trying to figure out what is my role. And early on in our marriage I just didn't have a solid anchor of God's Word and what He teaches us to, as wives how we are supposed to be. I was just constantly trying to argue for my way, for my opinions, and as Bracken and I began to draw closer to God and we began to press into His Word, I was deeply convicted of just my pride in these areas, how I was not submitted fully to God's Word and to my husband. I desired to obey the Lord in these areas. I just didn't have peace. And as I began to press into my role as a wife, into submitting to my husband and respecting my husband, even at times when I didn't fully agree with him or at times where I thought I knew better. In doing so, I found a great amount of peace and joy and strength, just that the role that God had for me, that has for me as a wife, he knows what he's doing and I couldn't come up with a better way than what God has designed. As I began to obey the scriptures, I found that the Lord was showing me there's a difference between obeying his word and just simply doing something out of obligation. So as wives, our obedience to God's Word and our submission to our husbands should come out of a place of love, pure love for God and knowing that as we submit to our husband we are submitting to the Lord in doing so and we don't have to understand everything that happens certainly we have an important role to play it is a role of great influence really the scriptures talk about even if our husband doesn't know the word or obey the word, but he can be won by the conduct of ourselves as wives. When we have a meek and quiet spirit, a spirit that is there to bless our husband without a word sometimes. Um, I found that one of the most impactful ways I can help my husband is to pray for him. And that's a journey that I've been on over the years.
So I certainly don't share these things to boast in my ability as a wife or to imply that I am a perfect wife or that I have all the answers. However, I do hope to encourage you out there as wives um, just to have that, find that anchor in Christ, to, um, continually, to continually look to Him as your guide um, in His humility, in His service, and just to look to God's Word for how He has instructed us as wives. Certainly, I am not a perfect woman, and my husband is not a perfect man, but together, when we love each other the way we are told to in the scriptures, as Christ loved the church, as my husband loves me, and as I submit to him uh, as unto the Lord, I believe that there is a perfection in that. And um, that's what I want to press into. So my encouragement and my prayer for you this week would be just to continue to submit yourself to God's word for wives, just to continue to um, press into the truth that God has for you. And I believe that when we do that, our life can be like this bouquet of flowers. It can put off a sweet fragrance uh, to our husband and those around us, but ultimately to the Lord. That's my prayer for you this week. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time.